Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, you guys, I am so excited because we're going to be trying the new 24A Artist Pass. Um, this is the Morphe Times Saweetie collab. And I am so excited to review this product for you guys because it is really, really pretty. Um, so I'm going to be doing some swatches for you guys. I'm going to create an eye look. Um, but before we get started, just don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, give this video a thumbs up and turn your post notifications on for the next time I upload another video. I already have my eyebrows done. I have my eyes set and prepped. Um, so let's just go ahead and uh, get started. So this is what the carton looks like. It's like this sunset-y kind of vibe to it. And then you pull out the palette and it is the same design. And it looks like that. And then you open it up and these are the colors so as you can see they do have very different um, textures of glitter they have your mattes your shimmers so I think this palette is really beautiful what I really like about it is the fact that it has like these colors down here but then the, you also have like your neutrals up here so you don't have to do like a crazy eye look every time you want to use this palette. So I think this palette will come in handy with just all the different looks that you can do with this one palette. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch each row for you and I'm going to start off with the very first row which is this one right here. So here we have all access. And then we have hashtag FOTD. Next we have a glitter shade, which is a pressed glitter. So it looks like this. And this is the shade Wild Out. Next we have the shade Security. And last we have the shade Stage Persona. This one right here. And that row alone, I think that is super gorgeous. Like I can see different looks being done <laughs> right there alone. Um, the second row is all mattes and it starts off with Indio Woe. That's a really pretty color. Next we have Portrait Mode. the shot next is desert vibes and last we have seek shade which is a really pretty like dark mauvey brown so now we're at the third row, which is these big ones right there. Usually those big ones, they usually for eyeshadow toppers or sometimes they can even be used for highlighters. So starting with the first one, we have front row, which is a really pretty gold. And next we have private oasis. Ooh, that's really pretty. So next we have the shade Spotlight Stealer, which I have been very curious about because it's the one with stars. So I want to see how they would apply. Ooh, that's really pretty, guys. So I swatched it down, and yeah, you can't even feel the stars at all. So it won't. It feels like they won't bother you. But I'm going to try it in my look today just to make sure how it feels on the eyes. But so far, that feels really good, and it's super pretty. And then the last shade is Secret Set. A star oh, no, it's not. secret set so those are the four big shades in the middle and they're all really pretty so first is max volume which is it's this pink so that's super pretty pink next one is green room it's this one right here next is under the sun So that yellow does seem a little bit more, let me try it again and see if it builds up a little more, which yeah it does. So you can definitely build up 
the yellow if you do want it more pigmented next is ride or sky and last we have major inspo so that's the second to the last row go to the first shade which is glitter rally and it's this pink one the second one is palm tree third one is invite only and this is the glitter that has little circles inside it i don't know if you can tell but it does have little circle sequins inside of the glitter I think this might be my favorite glitter shade in the palette. It's Insta Batty. And this is just so gorgeous. Look at that blue. And I love that shade. And lastly, we have Mica Drop. And that is it for the last row. So all the shades did swatch really nicely, but let's go ahead and see how they look like on the eye. So I think for the look, I'm just going to try and copy the packaging of the palette. So I'm going to start by going in with the shade um, under the sun, this yellow one right here. And I'm just going to place it in the front of my eye. Yeah, so this yellow, it's a lot more subtle, which I don't know if like yellows are just really hard to make because yellows usually are more on the subtle side. They don't really come out, you know, really bright. Um, not saying that it's a really like ugly shade, but I do wish it was kind of brighter because I'm really trying to like pack it on there and it's not really getting any brighter or building up. I'm gonna go in with the orange get the shot so I am noticing also there does seem to be a lot of fallout like when I try to get product it seems really chalky and a lot comes up and then when I tap a lot comes out too and it was the same thing with the yellow so it does look like these have a little more fallout than other Morphe palettes And I'm just placing the orange right next to the yellow. Next, I'm going in with Max Volume, the bright pink one. And I'm just going to place that pink next to the orange. And blend it in. They do seem to be blending pretty easily into each other. So blending wise, I think the colors are doing fine. Okay, so now that we have those colors laid out, we're just going to go ahead and cut the crease now. Now we cut the crease, we're going to go ahead and go in with the shade Spotlight Stealer, which is that pretty topper right here with the, oh no, just kidding. <laughs> it's this one with the pretty little stars inside. Go ahead and put that where we cut the crease. Um, trying to avoid the bottom area because we're going to do an eyeliner. So pretty much just inside and then like on top. So I got it on the brush. It was kind of hard to get the stars on the brush, so it might be easier to use it with a finger. But I'm going to go ahead and put what I got with the brush.
So the stars, they are kind of hard to work with. I'm trying to like place them down and if I go over them, they're falling. So you would have to like place them down and just like not touch it anymore. Just leave it there. Um, maybe if you use some eyelash glue or like some glitter adhesive or some glitter adhesive and then place this over it, the stars might stay better in place. Um, but definitely just putting them on like that by itself, it is kind of hard. Especially if you're trying to like also put the shimmer from the shade, not just the stars. Um, they are falling off when you go over them. Also something else to keep in mind, I am putting a star right there. And then my crease folds so it lifts up the star. So definitely don't put them if you have like hooded eyelids where it would fold them, you know. So they are a little bit hard to work with, but I'm thinking maybe if I use like a, the lash glue or a glitter adhesive, they might be a little bit easier to work with. So I'm definitely going to try that the next time I use that shade. Um, but now we're going to go into the shade um, Major Inspo, the dark purple right there. And we're just going to create an eyeliner with that shade. So actually, we're going to go in with the shade um, Stage Persona first, which is this light purple. And that's going to be the beginning of our eyeliner. So once we get there, about midway to the eye, um, we're going to go then with um, Major Inspo, which is the darker purple. Okay, so now to finish off the eye look, we're going to go in with Ride or Sky, this electric blue right here. And we're going to put that in the lower lash line. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye real quickly and I'm going to put some lashes on and I'll be right back to tell you my final thoughts of this palette. Okay guys, I'm back and I am done with the look. Um, what do you guys think? For $29, which is what this palette retails for, I think it's a really good price. It's a good palette, especially if you do love using colors and glitters. Um, this is a really good palette for you. That's it for the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see any of more looks that I recreate using this palette, um, you can always follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter. <laughs> They're all the same. It's Aglo Um, yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!